This one came as a, as a, as a bit of a shock for, for a lot of people. An FDA panel says a decongestant in cold medicines does not work at all. The decongestant is in products like Sudafed and NyQuil, and now the FDA is trying to decide whether to pull them off store shelves. So if you hadn't heard it this morning until right now, your jaw dropped, because it mm -hmm. did for all of us, because yeah. how much money have we spent on this stuff? So joining us now to talk about all of this is Dr. John White, who is Chief Medical Officer at WebMD, but actually used to work for the FDA. So you're perfect for us to have this conversation. Doctor, I want to get this exactly right. We are not saying all all decongestants don't work. We're talking about one component to them, phenylephrin, phenylephrin, is that right? It doesn't work. So, so fill me in and tell us all. Sure, and that's exactly right. And this is really important news as we're approaching cold season. So the ingredient is known as phenylephrin. And that's what you want to look for on these over-the-counter medications that you might be thinking about in terms of relieving your congestion. And what the study showed, exactly what you said, that compared to placebo, compared to taking nothing, it didn't do any better. But so we used to say this is generally regarded as safe. There's actually that term. But now we're saying, you know what? We don't know if that's the case. We know it's not effective. And it, it's certainly not worth the money. So we know that, that the stuff in front of the counter contains that, but the stuff behind the counter Watch contains, up. right. Yeah. Pseudoephrine. Uh, is that what it's Pseudo called? Pseudoephedrine, right. Pseudoephedrine. Right. Pseudoephedrine. Right. Right. Does that work? That's right. So that was one that was put behind the counter because what the FDA found and law enforcement found is that actually can be used to make methamphetamine. Yep. So that's what was going on there. That's the one you got to give your driver's license for. You get, you know, yeah. you, it's it's harder Fruit to, rage. you know, it's harder to yeah. buy ammunition than it is to buy that decongestant. You know what I mean? That's what everybody laughs about. But does it work, or have we done a study on that? You know, we, we've done, and I got to point out, we've been doing studies on phenylephrine and pseudoephedrine for over 15 years, and the FDA has looked at it at various points in time. At the beginning, the data showed maybe it was moderately effective, but now we're seeing that these really aren't, and they don't make any difference. But the counterpoint to that is what we know for phenylephrine and pseudoephedrine is they raise blood pressure. Mm. And a lot of people have high blood pressure. Mm. And that's the concern. If you're taking these medications, it's going to make your blood pressure higher. So it's, it's not worth it to take. Um, if it's going to raise your blood pressure, yeah. it's not going to work, and it's going to cost you money. But it's that one with phenylephrine. That's what you want to look for so, in so, the ingredients. So, Dr. White, you say this, and that's another part of the story, uh, raising of the blood pressure. That affects a lot of the people in our communities. So what should we use if we need something like a decongestant? Great question. And I, I still see patients, and this is what I tell them. They can use things like uh, nasal sprays. Those usually are very effective. Uh, sometimes an antihistamine like a Zyrtec or even some Benadryl. I don't know if you guys remember. Remember vapor rubs that you put on your yeah, chest? Yeah, yeah. That they, in the old menthol. days, they used to put on your chest, yes, right? Yes, I saw this had this menthol feeling. You'd hate for it to be on your clothes. Guess what? Those actually work. And we might need to be thinking Our about were using awesome. those. <laughs> they always are, right? Uh, Dr. Right. White, thank you. And it's important to point out that the FDA advisory panel has weighed in, but the FDA as a whole has to really analyze also, this. Yep. Uh, no final, final decision, and we'll continue to monitor it. Doctor, thank you. Absolutely. Thank Good you. seeing you. You Good too. To see nice you to too. see you. I feel better about that. Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, need to call. Get you get a little rub down. <laughs> need to, need to call, yeah, call mom and say, you know, you were right again. <laughs> there you go. Uh, up next.